I thought I would bring you along with me today to tell you a bit about the process of how I write my music, how the music starts, where I get the inspiration from, all the ideas. I'll play you a bit of a recent song that I wrote a few days ago and because that's fresh in my mind I can tell you more about basically how it came to be the song that it is and yeah, that's it. It's an electric piano, it's a Yamaha, it's a Clavinova. I got it for my 18th, so it's a few years old now. Weighted keys, and the beauty of it really is, versus real piano, is you don't have the, the upkeep, the maintenance, the tuning, and the issue of cold weather or um, seasons affecting the way that the piano sounds. I'll often get ideas when I'm driving, which is probably kind of slightly hazardous. On all iPhones there's a voice memo recording feature which is fantastic and I use it all the time around the house, when I'm walking, when I'm in the car, when I'm at work, anywhere where I get an idea and I can just quickly hum or sing into it at a later time when I'm feeling creative, have a listen and then I'll see whether they can progress anywhere from there. For example with this song which is called, at the moment it's called Without You, I got the idea for the um, chorus driving home and all the words as they are now are exactly as they were at the time and I knew I'd got my hook and I'd got the chorus which is the hardest part because you can have some great verses and never be able to get onto a chorus. I always then try and work out the middle eight before I try and get my, my verses down. Verses are much easier to do. This is the way that it sounds so I'll play a little bit of it. Can you hear me? short chorus so I thought definitely needs to be repeated. That's where the chorus came from. And I was very very excited about it and I worked on it as soon as I got home which is usually always a sign that a song is going to be a winner and that I'm going to finish it and complete it and it's going to be a really strong song for me. Came home wrote the middle eight and two verses but what I hadn't thought about is I wanted to have what we often call a pre-chorus and it's a, like a link between verse and the chorus. Ed Sheeran does this a lot. There'll always be this little pre-chorus. For the middle eight, I, I chose to, there's no words at the moment, it's just ooze, and I haven't decided the final ooze. <laughs> and the cool thing about these chords is you've got two minors, so you've got an A minor, a D minor, and then you've got an F major and a G major, so you have this kind of moody, so you have moody kind of chords, sad chords. they can e easily link in between one another. So this is what I came came up with for the verse, which again it's got a minor, a major, a major, a major chord. So it goes, is a mirror, is there something you won't say? I keep asking but you say everything's okay. Won't you say? Won't you say? I miss your body and the kisses on the straight into the chorus. Can you hear me calling your name? But you're kind of giving away the good stuff too early. And that's what it's all about, is teasing out. You know, you've got three minutes, three minutes, thirty, maybe four if you're like me and you write really long songs. You don't want to give away the goods too early. So having the pre-chorus prepares the listener that they're about to get to one of the peaks in the songs. So I was looking for a pre-chorus. So after the second verse, where it ends, um, ba 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 ba, won't you say, won't you say, I went on to, I keep asking myself, was there something I missed, was there something you said? So there you have the 
the components, the pieces that make up um, the song or a song. I don't visualise music as notes. I visualise it as a landscape and colours and shapes and that's the way I see it when I'm writing it and I see it and feel it in my mind. When I'm inviting a listener to, to hear my songs, to come and see me perform, I'm taking you on a journey and that's, that's the experience I want to give you. Not only because I want to pass some kind of knowledge to you, I want to share an experience, I want to give you hope, but more than anything it's about making a connection with another human being. And we do that through um, empathy and through telling stories about our lives. So I was thinking about how my life is held together really and my happiness is held together by maybe a handful of key people in my life and I thought about what it would mean to, to lose one of those people which seems like a really really sad thing to write about but loss can come in many ways, it can be a genuine loss, you know somebody passes away, it can be the loss of a relationship, loss of a friend, it can be a friendship that's not going where you want it to be, whatever, you know loss is, is a, sort of a theme that can be in many many areas of your life. I thought to myself who, who would that make me become, what would change about who I fundamentally am and that's where the inspiration came from it. So I'll take you through the words. I don't know if this is going to be any, any interesting to anyone. Anyway, um, is it me or is there something you won't say? I keep asking but you say everything's okay, won't you say, won't you say. I miss your body and the kisses only held for me. The words you wrote in letters only meant for me, won't you say, won't you say. I keep asking myself, was there something I missed? Was there something you said, silent words on your lips? I keep asking myself, was there something I missed? Was there something you said, silent words on your lips? Can you hear me calling your name? Can you hear me telling the stories we made? Nothing ever feels the same without you. Without you. Every moment that I had is photographed, the milestones in my life I reached and passed. You were there, you were there. I want, when people listen to my music, I don't want to dictate always what it's about. Okay, sometimes it might clearly be about someone you've been in love with, but then that could be an infatuation, it could be lust, it could be love, it could be an affair, it could be a summer romance. So I want the freedom there for, for it to breathe, for the words to breathe, for, for you to listen to a song and for you to connect to it in the way you want to. Crying and laughing and the making up, we were young, we were in love, we were growing up. It's okay, it's alright. So there's also that resolution at the end which is I am hurting, I am missing, I am longing for these things that made me feel complete, made me who I was, but at the same time um, it is the journey, it is life and things do have a beginning and an end, everything does, you know, um, so that's kind of the the, the premise of the song is kind of sad when I think about it. I tend to write sadder songs, I'm aware of that. I will check all the lyrics and make sure they work for me. I will play it and play it and play it and sing it and sing it and sing it and drive my husband mad and any neighbour until I've crafted it into the kind of shape I want, working on it, on it with my guitarist Dan and then hopefully recording it. All in all, um, I got the chorus within, um, I don't know, 30 seconds in the car on the way home. I came home and I had the entire structure within 10 minutes. And then the whole thing, I guess, took me about 20, 30 minutes to write down. So anyway, I hope you found this interesting. I hope you're enjoying the vlogs. Please do subscribe and like my channel if you do. It tells me to make more of them. Really, really enjoying um, doing the filming. I'm still getting to grips with my cameras. This is a new one, which I'm, again, still completely clueless about how it works. It's very much trial and error. I just want you to come along on the journey. I thought maybe it would be quite hard, this whole process of vlogging, but actually it's a creative outlet in its own right. So I'm, I'm really enjoying it. So thank you very much for all the comments, the support, the likes. I really appreciate it. Hope you have a great day wherever you are in the world. Bye!